left with um, before um, the pause uh, for advertisement, we we left with <laughs> with the uh, all triangular and opal type. Wow! Look at them! Oh, already, already, I can see on the wall. <laughs> and Tony, he made a lot. He did. So uh, yeah. we uh, <laughs> we were occupied with the two types of um, triangular and one cornet. Um, um, Two cornettos. And two cornettos. Just two cornettos. And two cornettos. Bravo, bravo, perfect. I've had a few on the, on my, by yeah, my Facebook messages yeah. as well. So, so there now I would like us to move to rectangular flags because we know that flags are normally rectangular shape. So uh, we start with um, A4 format. Please prepare. And we will proceed with A4. Uh, square uh, variations so first what i would like to fold with you it is this rectangular uh, plugs and they are made from one a4 okay so to make it easier for you to understand what i'm doing i will use dual color a4 okay. so I see. When you moved your to your paper, it became very quiet again. Uh, I think there's just something else we need to do with your microphone somewhere. Uh, yeah, um, stopped. Uh, can, okay, now. Okay. That's a little uh, better. There is yeah. an automatic volume setting on on the microphone usually. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm um, whether that can be yes. done. Is that better? Is that better? You're clearer, Dave, yeah. What, what is strange? Well, because that's should... better, that's better. Okay. Okay, so... Um, uh, they don't need to have duo cover A4, do they? They don't, they don't. This is just to so you can understand which side of the paper is... Which. Yeah, please use normal print paper, okay? Normal, just or colourful, whatever you have. Okay. So, we have one A4, folded it in half. And we will cut it in this form. Uh, we will see my, uh, what I'm holding, but not uh, uh, somebody yeah, else. Can, can you pin? Uh, we can uh, we actually what we're seeing now, Lee, on our. We, we uh, see. We see we, we only. Can, we can see you. Can, is it possible we can see our own? We need to spotlight your video, or everybody needs to pin. I'd already spotlighted you, so. Sorry for this technical uh, thing. Mm. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah that's we did it. No, sorry, 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 sorry that. for that. Is, is it now? Yeah. Okay. okay, fantastic. So we folded our A4 and half. Now please take your cutter or knife and cut it. Tradition. <laughs> right. So we have two halves. Now we make folds on each of them, but they are different. We fold both halves in half. One we fold short side to short side. And the second half we fold long side to long side. Mm. And again, I am afraid I would ask you to cut along these folds. So I'm cutting here, I'm cutting here. Right. So what we have is that. Folding. Can you slow down a little bit so we can catch up? Uh, good, good. Okay, so we 
are going actually to make two flags too, because for one and two we can make two medium-sized flags. Uh, and the, uh, this model is based on a um, traditional pose that I think a lot of us are familiar, and it is a uh, unit um, um, or rectangle square made from two units that are locked like that. One here and another in this, in a 90 degree rotation. So, but with our rectangles, it's not squares, not a two to one squares. We form next. We need to make, I'm starting with one unit. We need to fold it to the center, two sides to the center. But we don't need any references. I am assure you, it's not important if you fold beyond or not far away. If you want to be more or less precise, please hold the finger approximately where the center of your uh, rectangle, fold your edge and press. Now, the left over, we are folding to this side, but please leave a small, small gap, very small, just a tiny. Okay. Mm -hmm. We do the same with the another, <coughs> but this time we are folding short sides again to the center. <coughs> Here my finger, I fold approximately, it is not important if you will be not precise, not at all. And we're folding the upper short side again to meet another short side. And as you can see, we have perfect two a folds. Now we will connect them, and to do so, I am opening the long one, shall we say, and I am inserting one of the edges inside this thing, like that. All folds are valleys. <coughs> On my side, they are all valleys. I close this, I close that part, and the last fold, we need to insert this flap, inside the pocket okay i will do everything again if you didn't catch me up so done i repeat again with two other but this time i will start with opposite side color so i am deliberately folding far away from the center and you will see it is still working so this is bigger half this is narrower but it's it will work no problem the same here i'm folding just a little here not to the center not to that and it is quite amazing how nice it all works tomoko used a lot uh, such kind of folds in her um, models again i am opening these two sides i am inserting the bigger part here, shut up, shut up, and insert here. So, as you can see, from one A4, we did two medium size buntings. Okay, if we will take two A4. Just you, shall we just see if people are, are keeping up there? Yes. I'm just going to do a poll and see if people are, 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 are ready to move to the next bit or if they just need a minute to, to fold their, their units. Mm -hmm. Sure, that's people. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> Okay, um, I just uh, telling I'm not folding. I will talking. Okay. So okay. Again, uh, probably probably a third of people need a little more time. So yeah, please please talk. Um, I don't know if you want to just yeah yeah. No no one's asking to repeat a step. So hopefully it was simple enough. Not everyone's as fast as you are here. I guess. I see. Oh, I, I thought everybody knows that. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's much harder to, it's twice as 
twice as slow to watch something and then follow it. So let's give uh, people a chance. I, I, this I didn't thought yeah, about, yeah, okay. Please talk while people are catching up. Okay, so the, uh, as I told, from one A4, you can make two medium square, they're approximately like your iPhone size uh, bantings. And uh, this is an, again from one color. And if you would like bigger bantings, like this, for example, okay, it is much bigger, twice bigger, you use please two A4s, okay? And while you are um, finishing, I'm going to show how to hang these models on our string. We now can take all this out. Okay, so uh, I'm I'm doing one of the corners. Okay, I'm putting my string over, and I put this flap again in pockets where in pocket where it was before. And this is a brilliancy of A4. Before I tried to make it from square and it was not very tidy and uh, uh, not happy. So what is the um, benefits of this uh, unit? First of all, it is very simple, and I think you agree with me. Second, uh, it is using a paper that everybody have at home, and it is print paper. Third uh, thing, you can uh, uh, draw or write any letters on it before or after. We are going to create a special template with the BOS logo so that after you've finished your model, it will be here and here BOS uh, logo. You also can write here now anything what you wish, for example, B, O, and there is our S. Yes. Or BBC, it could be. <laughs> or BBC, yes. Oh, on the opposite side. You will write yeah, opposite yeah. side. So here we are. It's a really uh, simple and nice model. Now we're moving on. And we, on this half an hour, we are concentrating on a rectangular fold. And our next rectangular fold is... So I showed before. Yeah. Yeah. Voila. It is a flag of St. George. And it is very neat, very beautiful, not difficult to fold, and it is identical on both sides, here and here. And how many pieces of paper is it? It is only one oh. square. I don't believe it. Yes, and you need to find a red square in your set of paper and uh, we'll start with that so first fold we need to divide on the white side make two valleys dividing our square on three parts so uh, approximately folding and make a pinch on the top and we let us hope that it will be right then unfold and do the same with the left side and make a pinch and unfold. Now I am checking, is it was right guess or not? I am folding the right side again to the center and make again pinch. And it's almost the same. I think it was a good guess. And it's done. So after I divided with the pinches the top side of the square in three, I am now folding these valleys all over, all through the height of the square. One, and fold, and two. So this was the most, shall we say, uh, challenging. Yeah, Asya, would you like to just repeat that sequence? Mm -hmm. Just so that people can, uh, people can catch up. Yeah. yeah. So to divide the square, uh, there is this sequence that I showed, it is the first one. I can, uh, is it will be interesting if I'll show another method. 
uh, S method when we are folding the paper like that and then compressing. Or better I stay with the first method. I don't know. Um, show the first method again. Okay. We've got a request for that. I am uh, picking up the right side of my square and folding it to the left so that approximately just by eye it's for me this distance and this is identical okay and i am not folding all the paper i just make first pinch and it's a guess it is a guess yeah it's not exact unfold now i'm folding right left side corner to the same pinch to the first pinch and make a second pinch unfold now I am not sure was it right or not and to check it I will fold again the right side now to this second pinch because before it was nothing now I am folding to it and by chance it is the same I'm so sorry people <laughs> it's <You're> too accurate <laughs> so if it is not the same you will create a new pinch here and unfold and repeat this it will be nearby two pinches and you fold again the left uh, side to it and you are repeating this left side left right until you are find perfect solution uh, position when with the folding left and right they will completely cover each other so it is absolutely divided in three parts evenly okay that is the method how to divide but if you would like you you can cheat and just divide five five five, five centimeters your 15 centimeter square with using the ruler okay let's move on next fold I'm rotating the paper and I'm folding bottom part up again it is a guess fold not to the top but I am leaving a white gap you will ask how much I have an answer it is seven millimeters for God's sake how are we going to measure seven millimeters I have answer for this as well pick up nearby pencil that you have and it is approximately seven eight millimeters size and you are folding leaving approximately this gap it is not very important just seven millimeters uh, after many experiments seems for me good after that make a fold here press here okay don't unfold I am picking up the upper right corner and folding down valley fold 45 degrees to the just created crease okay. repeat the same with the left hand corner and as you guessed we need to do the same with the all corners for that I am unfolding first fold and I am now folding both bottom corners to the center and now please have a look it is a guesswork again we don't have any uh, reference points except the lines of the corner please line when you fold this uh, right side corner fold it so that it is lying on the same line as our already made corner okay don't be in a hurry do it accurately another reference point these two lines this and this should be parallel so it means that the width of this red stripe is all over identical now fold but don't press too much i will explain you why do the same with the left side corner we are folding it up we are trying not to now to match both corners this one and this one so that they are lying on a crisscross of them 
and then also I'm trying to make this stripe parallel and this that doesn't look for me good so I'm moving it a little bit and then and maybe this was wrong maybe this is why I am saying don't press too much there is a scope now to adjust and to make better accurate fold okay and this as well okay now it seems for me almost perfect now i'm press pressing these two sides too now i will stop and allow people to um, finish their cross okay this is what we are aiming I see uh, Louise Mabs asked a question. Louise, we moved on from the A4 to a square. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the point you missed. So we, we, we had the A4 pieces, uh, but Asi has just folded one square piece of paper so far. We are folding uh, now only the squares, yeah. If anyone has missed uh, something and wants to go back, uh, I'm recording the class. So we'll again, we'll post a link to everyone maybe in a day or so's time. Okay, let's move on. Turn over the paper and please have a look to find out where our two lines that were for the thirds. And I think it is this one line and this dividing our square in three parts very good they are very useful we now using this thirds line to fold along them so be very accurate and look it's exactly one third because it touched this line press and repeat with the left side corner to press it as well Okay, everybody managed? So fold and fold. The last, almost the last folds to, sh to make a rectangular shape uh, plug, we are folding bottom corner up so that it's touch this upper edge of our red. Not this edge, but this edge. So it touched here, and we press here, unfold, rotate, repeat the same with another corner, I put it, it up, uh, try to make it absolutely vertically, not like this, not rotated here, and for that you have a references point, reference points on the left and on the right. These corners, they are lying on the vertical, shall I move closer? Yeah, these corners, they are lying on the sides behind them. And press. So, this is what we created. In principle, our plug is ready. Only last uh, steps, we want to fix these corners. To do so, we are going to hide them behind these pockets and first preparation fold I'm folding this corner down along the raw edge behind it with the valley fold unfold pick it up and we make as a mountain fold change valley to mountain Do the same with another corner. I am first folding valley fold along the line behind it. Like that. Pick it up and fold and turn to the mountain. Before we tuck these small things behind in the pockets i would like to make more accurate this corner it's disturbed me too we, obviously we can't fold it to the front so we want to fold it back 
where to do that we are going to make a fold that connected visually this one and these corners to do so I put my nail where these two corners opposite each other and pinch the paper here like that can you see the pinch yeah now I am unfolding that pick up this corner and having this pinch like a reference through it I am making mountain fold okay. but for a moment I will keep it open it was preparation fold now collapsing moment so I'm folding bottom corner and tuck in the prepared thing behind repeat the same with the upper corner hiding it behind so it was obviously not very accurate it should be a little bit more longer okay and the last this corner we prepare this mountain I'm folding this mountain behind to fix this corners to be undone Ta -da! thank you David for the beautiful model it is model of David he insists that I am teaching it and here it is how it looks on the other side and uh, as before demonstration how to fix it so I am done one of the corners put my thread over fold it down and will you please bring the whole net of them and uh, I am tuck in inside and the plug is hanging like that so it is left side pretty good and the right side looks like that and here David want to sh brought us the uh, demonstration um, uh, unit it looks like that so we have some variation so I want to point you that this one folded from as we just did now folded from 15 centimeters square those are all 15s the bigger one folded from 30 centimeters square yeah this is how it looks on the photo on the wall so shall we move or uh, how, how Lee, please tell me uh, if is everybody with us uh, we can do a little poll as here it's coming up to five o'clock I wonder uh, if people want to uh, carry on for longer or if uh, if we want to kind of wind it up for five o'clock let's see if everyone's with us as far as folding this flag goes yeah I'm going to yeah. see what was ne what is next model I prepared it is swallowtail uh, flags Okay, I'm going to see if everyone's completed. This is just to see if everyone's completed or is nearly complete on their uh, on their George's Cross. It looks like everyone's up to speed. Marvelous. Just waiting for votes to come in. No one said no yet. Okay. Um, Asia, how much do do you do you want to teach, or do, are you able to teach that other flag as well? Uh, I am ready to teach this flag as well, and there is a bonus. David invented unusual flag, and he is ready to teach it as well. So for this one, we are thinking. Uh, 10, 15 minutes for this uh, flag and for David's maybe another 10 minutes so if everybody has 15 minutes or half an hour we are happy to continue I'm, I'm just gonna make a, mm -hmm. a poll for that
So you said what, 15 minutes and 10 minutes, yeah? For two models, uh, uh, that Dave uh, will teach the another flag, unusual, very unusual. Mm -hmm. Another maybe 10, 15 minutes, yes. Okay, so we may be another half an hour for both, okay. Okay, just bear with me, it takes a moment just to no problem, no problem. to create my poll. It's uh, good for me because I am preparing paper. Okay, let's have a vote. Okay, a few more people still to vote, so I'm just going to give it another few seconds. Okay, Asia, yeah. uh, quite a lot of people, about two thirds of the uh, people who are still left, would like to fold both flags. So, um, if others are okay, stay as long as you like. Uh, we'll have a video available in maybe 24 hours or so uh, for people who, who can't stay any longer. But if you're happy to carry on, we could carry on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We prepared. We, we worked hard. Excellent. To okay. Everything. So uh, it is 66% for two flags. Uh, this one and yours. Yeah. yeah, so I'm very, I'm very sorry to the people who can't stay longer. We ran a little longer than we expected, but if you can, you're very welcome to. Okay. Excellent. Okay, then we proceed with this one. So as you can see, there is a mono color variation, and there is a stripy one. And I am, I will be uh, happy to show you uh, both. And I will try to be in this 15 minutes. So, no delays, let us start. For monocolor, we need one square. Okay. So, again, it is a folding square in three, dividing square in three, as we did before. If you know how to do it, please do. If you forgot, I will show you again. I'm folding right side of the square approximately so that this color part and the white color part is seems for me identical Why and make, make a pinch make it inaccurate so yeah that, so that people can see i i, I can't you make can't. it <laughs> what are you asking now i have a pinch and i'm folding left side corner to it and i'm making a second pinch now to check is was right uh, to where it's right or not i'm folding again right side to this pinch i'm sorry <laughs> it's perfect so um and i'm uh, uh, folding uh, both all the way through dividing with the valleys on the thirds oh, oh it is it is color <gasps> It is color. Oh no. Oh no. Problem. Oh no. No problem. We turn over. And so I was so excited. And I'm changing it to a. Uh, meanwhile, people will have a time to do so too. Sorry for that. So it is a. We start with the color side, please. So for the one and for the second. Okay. Now we unfold one part and we keep the second one in. I'm picking up the raw corner of the one of the third and I'm folding it back, valley fold on itself to catch the vertical folding line. Repeat the same with the left side third. I am first folding it down and now I am folding it back 
dividing the white space in half vertically. Now we will concentrate, everybody with me I hope, now we concentrate on the bottom corner and I will magnify image. Okay, so I am folding two corners, if you can see that is this kind of shape we have. So I am folding both corners from inside to the outside 45 degrees. Very easy. Repeat the same symmetrically with the second corner. Press it well because we will use it as you may be guessed for inside reverse fold. So for make inside reverse fold, I am unfolding this fold, I am opening from outside my paper and I am pushing this corner inside and all what we need to do is to reverse this valley to the mountain and then press down. Inside reverse fold done. Please repeat the same with the left. We open the fold from outside, we insert our finger and with another finger we press the corner inside, we changing the valley to mountain, we press them all together to inside reverse folds. Next step turn over and fold this bottom corner up. How much? As much as it goes. It will not go far. And press it. The last fold. I am taking the upper short edge is all these layers and I'm folding it down to match the folds that we just made before. Maybe it has sense not to put it too far down because we need this space. Press the fold here on the top and the folding is done. I will show you how we hung our flag. I putting flag here on the white side, uh, putting string, sorry, sorry. Putting string here, I folding it down and I am hiding these two corners inside these two magnificent pockets, like that. One and two. Push it down if it doesn't want to go. It will go essentially because these two layers they just overlap each other if it is not enough space and have a look what we have on the other side. The perfect bunting with swallow tail. Hurrah! Bravo, Asya. What I really like about these is that they uh, they work on the front and the back, so you can see the flags from both sides. It's very nice. This was one of the, our goals. Uh, we will show again the list at the end of our session. One of the aims was to that the flag is beautiful and looks uh, from both sides good. Now I would like to show you how to make the flag so that one side is one color, another another, and it is not more difficult, vice versa. This variation is easier. Please take two squares contrast color and the folding is very, very easy. So I am putting them, uh, again I'm forgetting what color I'm using, that is this is really annoying. <laughs> Big color. We start with the color side, okay? Um, 
both units worked, worked identical up to the one point. I will tell you. So you can do simultaneously two units. We fold in half, color in. At the same, and then we pick up the just folded edge and return it to cover white paper completely. Okay? Do the same with the second square. Fold in half, very easy. No thirds. <laughs> no thirds, it's relief. <laughs> and we fold it on its own. Okay? You sound like Richard and Judy, don't we? Really? Yeah. I don't know who is that. <laughs> terrible couple on TV. I see. Okay, now we are rotating one unit so that the folded edges are outside. Here on the left, here on the right. Now next fold, we already did it, it's very easy. I am picking up this folded corner that is inside and I am folding it outside 45 degrees, like that. Unfold and make inside reverse fold. We just repeatedly did it a lot. Okay? And we do the same with another unit. But this time, you see the position. Don't make mistake. Don't hold it like that. We don't want to do that. No. We are rotating so that they are touch each other with the raw edges. And we do reverse 45 degrees and reverse fold here. Fold and fold. It's very pleasant, very satisfying movements. The model is not just beautiful by itself, it is also a pleasure to do. So, I am turning over both models, units, and as we did before, I am folding up the short edge as much as it goes to make a squash of this beautiful triangle here. And repeat the same with another unit. Okay. Am I 15 minutes? Are you counting? Okay. You got maybe seven minutes left, that's yeah. Ooh, fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> it's good that somebody is <laughs> watching the time. Me. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm turn off over again. And now it is collapsing time. It is another pleasure, I need to tell you people. So I am unfolding this last fold a little bit, approximately 90 degrees, okay, like that. And we are inserting one inside another. So for example, this yellow, I am inserting over the orange, so that it goes under our folded half of square. And I am inserting them to the until they meet each other. Okay? Easy. And just have a look how perfect it is. Turn over. We are folding the short upper edge with all the layers down to match our previous fold. And press here. And as before, we are hiding both of those corners in these pockets behind. This one and this one. So, one goes in, another goes in, tuck in, turn over, ta-da! It's um, a little bit in other proportions, but I like it a lot. For me, it is really nice... Um, um, uh, shape, nice pro proportion of height and uh, everything. And again, the flag is identical, almost uh, at least in color shape on both sides. Uh, I have another five minutes before David will teach his model and I would like you to show you another unit, how to at least how to start and achieve these fantastic stripy flags. It's also made with the 
square. Uh, so, uh, and two squares, identical color, but because we will use one using its white side, we will have this interesting effect. Before we start folding in half as we do here, we need to create a stripe. And this is a little bit cumbersome. I calculated that we folded stripe up 17 millimeters size. I know it is difficult and uh, maybe you first make it approximately by eye, but maybe um, you can cheat and use a ruler. Just measure 17 millimeters and fold a line. After we did that, we do the same with another square. This time it's much, much easier. I am putting this one over another and I'm folding the edge. It doesn't want to fold. Uh, so folding up the edge this way. And it is easy to locate. Like that. So after we created these two folds, the procedure is exactly the same as for this previous model. Exactly the same. I will fold one so that you can see what I am doing. First, first I fold this just prepared edge in half, covering completely color. Okay. Then I return it as we did before to the folded edge like this. Yeah, I over calculated. Definitely not 17. Okay, never mind. So, and I do the same with this one. Fold and unfold. Definitely not 17. Almost 20, probably. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Now I rotate. And we do this all this business with this and these corners. Okay. Uh, David, my time is going. Yeah, sure. uh, can you please take your time? No, I don't okay. Take Couple okay. more minutes, Asia. So okay. I think I think we get it's the first the first the previous one was such a simple, elegant model. I think we I think uh, most people will get the idea. Yeah. yeah, if you if you just uh, if you just fold, I'm sure we can uh, yeah. we can follow. So first, uh, because here after we fold this 45 degrees, this small corner is on the way, and I am just going to hide it behind itself, like that, and then reverse fold with that. Okay, and the same procedure here, and I can do actually differently. I I unfold this small piece, fold this to foot uh, mountain as I wish. And this as I wish, and after that, I'm making reverse fold with this corner alone. Okay, and then I'm folding this, closing this thing. Okay, so and then again, very easy and pleasant sequence. We're folding both these short ends up, then we are combining them together like that. And because I folded too much, I am so sorry. Uh, my goal was so that these stripes are the same width, and it is 17. I folded 20 millimeters. It is too much. So and then we tuck in the pockets with two corners, and again it's perfect. Uh, almost perfect, except uh, uh, on the, this side it is stripy, on, on the left side it is even more exciting. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, and this is what we were folding. Here the result of this uh, um, different bunting, and here it is, I want to point you, so this one is a dual color that we did. Okay, this is monocolor. This is a also folding that, but both uh, units were identical. 
and therefore in the center we have a uh, white stripe and also you can instead of using two identical squares you use two different squares to receive that so i hope you will definitely find some more even variations and uh, on this theme and how, how have a you, lot of fun how do we attach it to the bunting oh stop it i did show it i want to see oh, david my time finished so we are we're putting string here and connected it again so i'm leaving space for you that's very kind of you a big applause for Astia for all her hard teaching and now it's my turn I'm just going to show you my face in case you've forgotten what I look like. This is me. <laughs> right, so we're going to do something rather different. Instead of having an abstract flag or a geometric shape, we're going to fold something a bit different. I'm going to go once again, go back to the... <clears throat> The document camera, so you see. What so I'm this, this I prefer to color yeah, choose. Me. Yeah. Focus it again. Right. So we're going to actually use a base, which you might know. Which I was trying to remember where I first saw this base, and it was in this book. If you've got it, <clears throat> book by Kasahara from sometime in the seventies, nineteen seventy-three, and he used this base to make a parakeet. And it's this base here that you can probably see. And we're going to fold that. I, I'm not going to use his method. I'm going to use a method of mine. So we'll put that aside. Now I'm going to use a, an orange piece of paper for reasons which may or may not become obvious. So I'm going to fold the paper, starting from the white side. I'm going to make a diagonal crease. So I'm going to fold this corner right up to the other. Once again I'm going to exactly fold it so that there's no white paper showing at the edges here. Can you hear me okay everybody? I'm not speaking too quietly. I can hear you okay Dave. Um, I think I think we sorted out the volume problem. I'm pleased to hear it. So the next thing we do is turn it round so that we've got the, a folded edge at the top and two raw edges, raw corners pointing towards us here. I'm going to take the upper left layer, make it lie alongside the folded edge, like that. I should have done this the wrong way around, it should be this way around. Sorry, we do that way, do that way then. So we should have the colour on the inside when we get to that stage. So we now need to go with taking this upper coloured edge to lie along the existing folded edge. And I want to make a nice sharp point here, if it's at all possible. Actually, I think we lose that point somewhere along the line. So if you, if it's not perfect there, you won't be, you won't be put in prison. <laughs> okay. That's comforting. Isn't that comforting? Right, so I'm going to crease that down fairly firmly. Everybody happy? All we did was fold that up to there. Now I'm going to turn it over and make an exactly similar fold. It's a base. It's a kite base. Oh. But I always think it's easier to fold to an edge than it is to a, a crease. So I like to have it fold in that. So we've got a kite base, as Asya says. I'm going to open it up. So here you see on one side a classic kite base. Now, but I'm going to turn it over to this side, like that. Just a lost a bit of focus, but I'm just going to focus again. Brilliant, brilliant gadget, a document camera. I really recommend one of these things if you if you're considering doing any origami teaching. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is fold this back. Now, I need to be careful here. If I go too much, it's going to, this corner will stretch, and I obviously don't want that. So we need to just adjust it so that the crease line goes exactly from corner to corner. You can 
check by lifting it up, make sure it's all tidy and all the layers here are um, coinciding. Okay, so far so good, pretty easy. Got that on one side, that on the other. Now, what I'm going to do now is to fold this top right hand corner down to meet the point, the right angle corner at the center here. And it's pretty easy. I'm going to fold that down. And as we do it, before we actually press the crease in firmly, just lift up the paper to make sure, I'm going to zoom in, to make sure that the crease is exactly going to this point here. So I've made that touch that point, and before I'm creasing flat, I'm double checking that the crease is going to end up at that point there, and I'm going to crease it. So far so good, done that. Now we do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to take this corner down to centre, as we did before. So far so good. Just done, I'm going to undo those now. Zoom out again. Shall we just check everyone's uh, up to speed with us, Dave? One second. Okay. Pretty much everyone is saying yes there. God, there's no one saying no or wait, so let's move on. A hundred percent. It's a great teaching, Dave. The next thing we need to do is undo everything. Go back to the white side, and you can see all the existing creases. So, in fact, most of the creases are right. The ones that we have to change, there are only two of them here. You can see this crease here is a mountain fold. And this crease here is also a mountain fold. We need to change that, those two creases, that one there, that one there, to valley folds. And it's easy to do because you've got the start of the line over here. I'm just going to make it a bit darker. See all this gadgetry on this this document camera makes it so much fun so we're just going to continue this existing valley fold to up to the point where it, uh, it touches the, the the existing mountain fold and make it into a mountain fold at the same time okay and i'm going to do the same thing on the other side i'm not going to extend the crease beyond this point but you can see that if I make the two creases together, a little preliminary base starts to fold. It's a hoodie. That is a bit, yeah. So, and here you've got two flaps which are not lying flat at the moment. But the first thing I'm going to do is to just check that all the creases are lining where they should. And when, that, when I'm happy that they are, I'm not making new creases, I'm simply reorientating them, changing a valley or a mountain to a valley. The next thing I can do is to lift up this, uh, this loose raw edge and make it lie flat by lying in the centre of the paper. Now I've got a bit of white paper in the centre there which I'm not too happy about. I'm just going to try and tidy that up a bit. Okay, everybody happy? And having done that on one side, I'm going to do exactly the same on the other, trying to avoid any white exposed edges. So we've got that funny thing there. Just while I'm gonna in, I'm gonna interject, Dave. In in John McCower's book, uh, in his genuine origami book. 
the the first one, not the ones from Silver Rectangles. He calls this, I think, the Little Bird Base. And it's the only reference I've ever seen to this having a name. Mm -hmm. And not everything needs a name. But I, if if anyone knows who's on the who's on the who's on the uh, attendees, anything about the name for this and whether the little bird base is a known name, I'd be really interested. Put something in the Q and A. Well, I think if if you analyse what we've got, actually, if you go back to this shape here, I think it's an off-center preliminary base. It is, and with these this lower edge, uh, petal folded. Yeah, but. Whatever you want to call I don't think a name mm. is desperately important. As long as we I, I don't it. either. It's just interesting to see if there's a the history of it. I think I first indeed. saw this by, believe it or not, a rather unknown folder years ago from Czechoslovakia, whose name was Ivo Zuba. And I he made he used this this base to make a little figure, a little figure of a, a dwarf. His his um he, he made a, a scene of um Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, and uh, the, he used this base to make a dwarf. I have three minutes. Oh my God! I'm okay, not... just just show people the the flaps folding down there, because I think you've done that, but we didn't describe it, Dave. Thanks. And that, what I'm doing now is just valley folding that flap back down, so that once again you can see this this central um, preliminary base thing. Right. Everybody happy? I'm going to move on because I hope I'm pretty sure you'll have got this far. I'm actually going to just rotate the whole thing round. Now I've got a this is this corner here is one of the original corners of the square, and I'm going to fold it towards the closed 90 degree corner at this end of the, of the um, construction. I'm going to fold it down about a third of the way. So that means, I'm going to zoom in so you can see, see I love to play with my document camera. So there is the little mini preliminary base. I'm folding that down so that the, the white bit here from that, that crease line, I've not pressed it flat yet because I may have to adjust, so that that distance there is about the same as that. Again, it's not necessary to be absolutely precise but when I think it's about right and I think that more or less is I'm going to crease it okay so that I want to unfold that crease that, that fold that we just made and to change the valley fold that we just put in and make it into a mountain so that that tucks behind I'm not sure not convinced that mine is 90 degrees, but I don't think it's or, or, or horizontal. Looks to me as if it's sloping down a bit, but I'm not too concerned. So the next thing I want to do is to fold this 90 degree corner at the bottom up to the crease, the centre of the crease that we just put in. I'm going to zoom out again. I'm going to fold that up to there. Yeah, okay, thank you. And then this little tip here, I'm going to fold that similar process. I'm going to fold down that one third so that the amount I'm folding is approximately equivalent to the amount, the amount that's left. It does, the exact position isn't too important. I mean, how many more minutes have I got? Uh, not not lots. We're just on half past five. Right. Well, we, there's only one thing more to do, just as well, because we're going to fold that down as far as it can without pulling these corners down. And you'll probably find that it just about touches the little triangular corner that we folded down below. So if we fold that down like that and crease it firmly across. And then tuck this this corner in behind this crease here, and you can see we've got a little cat. Oh, isn't it cute? We can make it look a bit more cat-like if we just gently fold in half here, and just 
make a sort of soft reverse fold, a V shape, just below his nose. So we've got a little cat. You can make it look even more cat-like if you bend these ears in a little bit. This is all the real shaping. Yeah. Mm. Now the next question is, this is not a flag. Oh, but yes it is. Because you can put them on a, you can put them on a string and you can line them all up together. Now there's some very oddly shaped and coloured cats here because all of these ones were experiments. And we've got some, we, we were trying to see how far we could take it. But fairly obviously, it's pretty simple to see how it will attach to the, the string. So you put the string be, over the top of this pointy flap, but behind the ears. And then you just simply reattach the sharp corner underneath the uh, corner. And it's quite cute, it's got little eyes. It looks a little bit sad. All these cats seem to be a little bit sad to me. And I was trying to make it look a little bit happier. I, I know why they're sad. Why? Because they eat little bird base form. Oh, I see. They, they ate the little bird base And form. they became the cats. Yeah, they, right. So there we are. That's a, a rather unconventional um, uh, uh, flag. But this, this is what we... These are the, what you've just done. You've done St. George and you've done a row of cats. And I'd suggest if you do this that you choose probably slightly more appropriately coloured cats than we've, that we've uh, shown you here. So that's it. My, that, I rest my case for the defence, Your Honour. So I hope, I hope you've enjoyed your Bibril Bunting Challenge. And once again, I'm just going to remind you of our aims. Now, I'm not saying that these necessarily need to be yours. But this, these are the objectives that which we had. The, obviously, the objective was to fold flags. And in order, to, in order to judge whether they were good or bad, we, we, had to, we felt we had to have a few criteria, a few aims. First, they should be simple. They should be fun to fold. They should be attractive. They should fasten to the cord by folding alone. Obviously, obviously, no cuts, glue or decoration. And we wanted to try as far as we could to use 15 centimetre squares. We've bent the rules a bit with that one because we cut some of the this squares. This is cutting, not cutting during folding. Ah. This is preparing ah. the shape. Ah. For example, if you don't have square, you took a big piece of paper, cut a square from that. So okay. cut is forbidden then. Okay then. Uh, so that, we, we are preparing our shapes. Oh, of course we are. So that, that's, that's the, the story. So I would like to just encourage you to have a go at making your own uh, flags. So we're going to change the camera over because we've got something else to show you. There we go. Here we are again. So we can take oh. away this now. So fun. thank you very much for your interest to our folding. And um, uh, here it is another... Uh, third member of our family our family no it's not family but she wants to say hello and uh, show what she did during this session she's been very busy fantastic asia and dave that's marvelous i'm sure we've had some great comments in the q a that you can look at for feedback but i think the best feedback is for people who'd like to to uh, show what they folded. So if you would like to raise your hand, if you'd like to show your models, I will put you all to video. It takes a bit of clicking on my part. Hands are going up. So bear with me. We will put, it'll log you out and log you back in when I put you to video and you can <gasps> join the panel. Great. Does that reverse on yours as well? <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Oh. See that, yeah. It's the right way around for us, Martin. Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> First of all, I thought you'd enjoy a bit of fun with flags. Tony, you made a lot as well. Oh, he's a good chairman. He's a good chairman, yeah. yeah. Long may he reign. <laughs> great, great. Fantastic. Excellent. Oh, Kat. Miguel, I didn't know you were there. Hello, nice to see you. Hello, Hello, Hello. 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 Hello.
they can make their machine. <laughs> Some people need to switch their cameras on. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Switch on your camera. You should Thank be you able very to. Much. I think you should write a book, a bunting book. I think. <laughs> yeah, the brilliant bunting book. Brill's, Brill's bunting book. Yeah. You're Definitely. Right. Brilliant. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Can I send you a string? Okay. Yeah, have you not got any string at your house, Mrs. Van Iverson? Great. <laughs> <laughs> you did as well. I didn't do them all because I've been answering Q&A, but I managed to get a couple in. They're Thank lovely. You Thank you to you all to follow that. So. And Matt Edwards, yeah, Richard. Okay, everyone who's raised their hands, I've, uh, I've, uh, I've promoted. But please, please raise your hand if you uh, want to come on. And everyone, change change to gallery view so you can see the... Uh... Lee, do you want yes. to... Uh, do a screenshot so that we can put it in publicity material. I, I'm busy still promoting people to panelists, so, okay. so if you would if you would like to screenshot it, that would be great because I'll have to stop putting people uh, onto the panel. Thank you so much. Wow. Lorenzo Lucioni, ciao. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Buonasera. Buonasera. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas. Yeah. David, Nicholas. <laughs> very nice, Dave. Very, very nice. Thank okay, you. I've got everybody who raised their hand, so there's now maybe just over 30 of us. Uh -huh. Hold yours up then. Hey, we're, hey. We're everybody, everybody smile. One, two, three. Got some missing cameras here we've got. Yeah. Steph, I can get maybe half the people on my screen, so if you can click the second part of the screen, we can make sure we've got everybody. Great, great. Okay, after, uh, okay. Uh, Ooh, a rainbow with a bunny. Oh, there's more, there's more people. Deeply impressive we are. Oh, Deeply impressed. You see, I, I was quick, but they were quicker. They made more than I did. Yeah, bravo. Uh, great, great. You should say, see the ones I've got in the cutting room. Like more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a bunny, my favorite. Look at that. That's a bunny. Yeah, here, here. A bunny, look. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With rainbow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and, the, and now with this uh, yeah. everywhere, and, um, people are here. They <laughs> are drawing a, uh, rainbows. It is a symbol yeah, of they, hope. That's and, true, uh, yeah. Well, don't forget to turn your video on, everyone. When you yeah, get, everybody uh, when on you the get... second page, turn your video on. <laughs> now we have this uh, rainbow uh, bantings. We do. Great. Great. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you so Bunting much. Bunting Bunny. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And so maybe see you again tomorrow if you're joining the, uh, the, the West. Yeah. 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 West. Mm -hmm. Are you going to have the same patter tomorrow, Dave, as at um, the other convention? <laughs> It'll be much more witty. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. I'll be asking Thank you. you. Thank you all. See you tomorrow. Yeah, well, see you tomorrow. everyone, we'll Bye. see you tomorrow, 10 a.m. Bye. 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 And a big thank you to Lee for hosting this and oh, running yeah. it. Yes, thank you. You're very welcome. It was great fun. Fantastic great fun. teaching sessions. Mm -hmm. Nice one. See you okay. guys tomorrow. So can I can I retire now, Tony? <laughs> yes, you can, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Are you going to keep them the the meeting open, Lee, for a few minutes? I'll, I'll keep it open for a few more minutes. Yeah, so if people anybody can, wants to have a yeah. chat with anybody, they can uh, have a chat. But that was that was a cracking session. Lovely. So many ideas there. We only overran by a bit. 